Oh yeah, Kuan Yin. This Chandler wanted us to speak about being stuck and feeling as though there is no movement in and away from or towards or out of a situation that feels um, as though it has become stagnant. And so we'll offer an opportunity to open up to an experience of uh, peace that will invite in the uh, flow of energy that is being sought after in these moments and in many moments and many experiences to come. So if this energy is feeling uh, stagnant or stale or difficult to move through, it is important that you begin to recognize where you've been placing all of your attention. Your experience is based primarily off of what holds your awareness for an extended period of time. Whatever that may be, um, it could even be the feeling of stuckness. It could even be that feeling where you continue to say to yourself, well, I don't know what to do, and I don't know what to do, and I don't know where to go, and I don't know who to talk to, and I don't know any of these things. <clears throat> and therefore, this feeling of stuckness becomes um, pervasive in your mindset around the life that you are living. And when your focus continues to be that which you do not want to have the experience of in this lifetime, you will continue to create it. And as you continue to create it, more of that energy is flowed in that direction. These are not new concepts or ideas. These are things that Chandler's been channeling for a long time, many, many hundreds of years even. It's not, as I said, a new concept, although it may be new to you. This understanding that whatever you place your attention upon becomes bigger and in some cases uh, scarier or even more stuck. And so the human mind is so powerful that it has this ability to flow through in a new way. And once you bring your attention away from all of that stuckness feeling, you will begin to notice that your mindset begins to open up in new ways. And the experiences start to shift in a way that becomes more, uh, not so much more beneficial because stuckness does have a benefit to it. If having just the awareness of it, it can be enough to say, oh, I don't like this and I want something different. So you have this moment where you decide that life is more fun than this and so you choose a new direction and in this choosing you can gently guide yourself away from those feelings of stuckness so it's difficult at times to see the thing that is real in front of you I don't know what to do, I don't know what to do, I don't know what to do this all seems very clear, it's, it's prevalent, it's what is right now and so as you make the new choice to see what is happening contrary to that, there may be times where the mind will throw up some resistance and say, but that's not what it is, that's not what it is. And so instead we want to offer a completely different perspective for the mind to consider. And we will walk through this process with you now. I see that I feel stuck. I see that I am noticing all the things that surround the feelings of being stuck. I can tell that the stuckness is causing me to live a life that doesn't feel as effortless as I'd like it to feel. I like knowing that I can tell when things are happening this way. I enjoy the opportunity to choose again. I like choosing again. I like knowing that I can choose something different. And I don't even have to look at what is happening right now in my awareness to choose again. I can do something completely different. There are aspects to this life that I don't know anything about. 
there are aspects to this particular situation that I know nothing about because I've only looked at what I think is there. And that's okay because it's what's in my face, it's what's here, it's what's uh, bringing awareness to me. I, I like knowing that I can grow from this experience. And as I do make the choice to see what is happening better, where the flow is, I'd like to follow that feeling, that knowing, and bring all of my attention to where things are flowing. Even if it's just to notice how a river flows, how water flows easily over stones and sticks and bypasses and all kinds of things of that nature. Things that flow, waterfalls that flow. I like knowing that there is flow in this world, that there is movement, that there is interest in this world that directs people and situations in a new way. I like knowing that there is a flow in everything in my life. I like knowing that there is something that is moving even in the most stuck places. Maybe in those stuck places, if I look just at the edges, I will notice how there is a flow of energy all around that stuck place. And just like the river weathers down a stone that is in the middle of the stream, eventually that flow will move through that stuck place. But only if I keep giving attention to that flow. So that flow is where right now for you? That flow is in the knowing, that flow is in the energy, that's a flow that's in the blood that moves through your veins. That flow is always happening, regenerating, and clarifying all of the wants and desires of your experience. That flow is always happening, the wind is flowing, and as the wind flows, it, it also weathers down stones, and rocks, and things of that nature that seem immovable, but over time, over awareness, over intensity, over allowing a sense of truth, that flow moves away all stuck energy. And so as you connect with this consideration, with this idea, paying no attention to where you think you should be, or where you think you are, or where you think everything should be moving in the direction you desire. Instead, offering an allowance. Offering an allowance, I can tell that this thing here is stuck right now. And I know that if I continue to focus on how stuck it is, it'll just dig in deeper. Instead, I invite the flow of creative energy to move through and weather down any stuck places in me. Just as my blood moves easily through my veins, just as the wind weathers down stone, just as water weathers down stone in the stream, I know that it will flow and eventually that stuck place will not seem so suck. As a matter of fact, it may not even feel as stuck now. I like feeling that feeling of flow, of ease, of effortless concentration on those things that I want, I desire, and I long for. The ease at which this comes to you is natural. It's natural. Accepting what is, allowing something greater, and enjoying the benefit that comes thereafter. And so it is. So you are. Being easy in this moment. In this contemplation of knowing who you are at a deeper level now. Remember, 
Who you are.